I'm from the hood, nigga, I will bag you. Yeah. Back three, back three, back four. Yes, man, it really is me. Me is Zool, aka the instant burner, man. We now have the biggest splash of right now, man. The 2017-2018 offseason, man. It is official. Jimmy Butler has been traded to the Minnesota Vikings, man. I'm kind of mad at Chicago for this, man, because I'm going to tell y'all later, man, I'm kind of mad. But for Minnesota, bro, that is a big, big improvement, man. When it comes to Minnesota, with this, with Jimmy Butler, man, that takes them over the top. They are now a playoff team. They will be making the playoffs next year. But when it comes to the Bulls, bro, you gave this man away for pretty much pennies, man. In my, this man is a top three shooting guard in the league, bro. He's a top two, top two or three. You know, you know James Harden is first, and you got Jimmy Butler, and you got, um, Klay Thompson, in my opinion, he is better than Klay Thompson, man. He is a walking 20 a game, man. He was a, he's an alpha male. He is going to be the leader of your team. He's going to change the dynamic of your team. Defense, he can, lock, he can lock down the best player on your team. Like, he brings so much to the team, and he's a superstar. He is a superstar in this league, and you gave this man a way for This is what the Bulls received, bro. Zach Levine, who was coming off a knee injury, he, he ACL injury, so it's a he might not even play for half the year, if not the whole year. You don't know if he's gonna be the same player. Great young player when he when he is healthy, but we don't you don't know what you're getting with him. And you're giving away Chris Dunn, who struggled to even get on the court. They thought he was gonna replace Ricky Rubio, but Rubio still beat him out. So this is a player that wasn't even getting burned like that, and you're giving up. The, and then you will also get the seventh pick. I'm sorry, I said giving up, but this is what the Bulls are going to get, my bad. You're also getting the seventh pick in this draft. And what the Timberwolves are going to be getting, you're getting Jimmy Butler, and you're getting the 16th pick in, in this draft. First round. Both of these are first round picks. The thing about this draft, man, this is one of the deepest drafts since the 03 04 season with Carmelo, with um, LeBron. With, with all them cash, you know what I'm saying? This is one of the deepest drafts, so you so you going back eight spots to get Jimmy Butler and two players that you really don't need? Bro, it's a steal for the Timberwolves. Bulls, I don't know what you're doing, bro. This is a high-caliber player, bro. I need at least... I need at least half your team, bro. I'm sorry. I need at least half your team. You know, they moved way too quickly, bro. They, I'm, I know they're in rebuilding. I, I know that. But they was better off just waiting, man. Just waiting, seeing what the Cavs were going to do for the Bulls, man. I'm, I'm not a Bulls fan, but if you are a Bulls fan, bro, you should be pissed off with this, man. This is this is freaking pennies. You gave this man away for pennies. You know what I'm saying? This man can change the dynamic of the game. But like I said, man, the Timberwolves are going to be, they're not going to be contenders next year, but they will be a playoff team, man. Reuniting with, with um Tim Tip Thibodeau or whatever. But I wanna know what y'all think, man. Especially if you're a Bulls fan, man. Let me know in the comments. Do y'all think this was a good trade on y'all's part? Do you think it was a bad trade? Let me know in the comments. If you haven't hit that like, don't forget to hit that like if you're new. Please don't forget to subscribe. And y'all already know who this is. It is your boy, Miss Soul.